Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, the kids and I have been enjoying this beautiful warm spell that we've had. We're in the last week of January. Um, yesterday we were cleaning up the weeds around the well and around the Agrimax box. I had a couple neighbors and friends ask about what we kind of thought about it overall. And I know that this is when everybody's making their production decisions for the year. Um, but I wanted to kind of do like a little report or whatnot on what our final results were. And so I know this is going to be out of order and I'm, I swear I'm going to get, I, I, it's my real goal to get all of our last season videos edited and up before we start this next season. So, so the first phase that we had was getting the prep work done before they could even come out and install. So they sent the metal threadlets that we had to cut into our well system, our main line and weld in place and then get a, the power situated for, for where we could plug it in. Um, and so we got all that installed and ready. And the next phase was them having them come out and, and, and install the actual box and get all that hooked up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then our first kind of results that we could see were, were a couple weeks in, after the install, but we had the our big hailstorm that came in and did all that damage. And so we were really delayed because we had to wait for all the everything to the ground to dry out and the crops and getting it all cut and everything and up and bailed and out and that whole saga. Um, so it, we had a section of it that was we had to roll the sprinklers back um, again and again and again. We left everything on and any of this in the spot right there before the where we had hail damage, we had to, we just kept rolling the sprinkler back to start and back to start. So it was like four risers, if I remember right. Um, and so we had an overwatering damage where it turned all of it uh, yellow. But one of the things that surprised us about it was that we it didn't do nearly the the amount of water overwatering damage as we thought it would. And then what was there bounced back so much faster than we expected. So that was really nice. Overall, our worker noticed that um, the ground, there was, we had some kind of trouble spots where it kind of tended to pool and uh, the truck would get stuck in a lot. And um, there's a few spots that are kind of more, have more of a clay texture and they kind of slick. Um, and that changed kind of, so it kind of changed the the composition of the soil or whatnot to the, or how it was watering that the water could then soak down um, and not have those trouble spots anymore. The other big change that we saw was in the time that we could go between waterings. So we are on wheel lines here, uh, and then we kind of rotate through which ground some, we shut them off and turn other ones on as we're making sure and kind of keeping an eye on everything and how the stress level of the crop is doing. So in the hot August and July, we really have to get that water back on sooner than in the cooler part of the early spring and then the fall when it cools down. So we were able to go from 12 to 14 days. So that varies usually based on the temperature. I mean, you, you can tell with your like with your house plants when they start to, when they need a good watering. We were able to stretch it to 16 to 17 days and even in some areas. And so, and then overall, the crops just looked so much uh, healthier. That was a big change that we saw. We water stress and then the heat stress didn't affect the crops nearly as much as it did with before the Agrimax system. So our yield was quite a bit more. We saw a higher, a slightly higher yield for first, um, but significantly higher in second and third. So we were on our well water again, which has tons more nutrients. And then we had the Agrimax system going for second and third crops. And so I'm not sure if it was the more time built up on the well water combined with the Agrimax where they just really synergistically um, charged the, the plants, but we did have a anywhere between 20 to 30% increase in our yield. We had one field that did fantastic and that's where kind of the 30% came in. Then we also had a warm spell where the cutworms came up and um, happy caterpillar ate all the, the hungry caterpillar, I mean, came and ate a whole bunch of the, of our extra yield off. But we still did have in the overall in the end, our bale count um, was still quite a bit extra. So in the barn, we had about a 20%, 25% increase, increase in bale count. So overall, we've been really happy with the system and I've got um, a handful more of videos in the production line to finish out uh, 2023 and then we're excited for 2024 so stick with us and i hope you enjoy thanks everybody bye